This video will cover how to define a coordinate system. Defining a coordinate system will allow you to create a new temporary active plane. It is important to understand that with 3D sketching you do not need to sketch on a planar face or plane, but it is generally easier to do so. If you are not sketching on a plane, your sketch could end up out in space, because it may be difficult to judge the depth of the items that you are creating along your line of sight. To define a coordinate system, you will need to access the Define Coordinate System dialog box. To do this, under the Part Modeling tab on the ribbon, select Activate 3D Sketch. In the Sketch Tools group, click on Define Coordinate System. The plane, X vector, and origin fields in this dialog box provide the means of locating and orienting the coordinate system you are defining. Plane. This can be any planar face or plane that will become the active drawing plane. Think of it as a clear plastic drawing surface that you can locate anywhere at any angle you wish, even in midair. When you draw on this plane, anything you draw will remain where it was drawn, even after you select a different plane to be your active plane and drawing surface. The object shown here is an extrusion created with a 30 degree draft angle. As an example, to set the right shaded face as the active plane, while the Define Coordinate System dialog box is open, we'll select that face and click the OK button. The grid always aligns with the active plane and provides a visual reference for the location and angle of the current active plane, and therefore the current coordinate system as well. The current coordinate system is now parallel and coincident with the active plane you just set. Sometimes this is sufficient, but often you will need to also set the exact alignment angle and origin point of the current coordinate system. These refinements are addressed by the X vector and origin fields. X vector is the direction of the grid of the plane that is being created. This can be an edge, axis, or reference line. Without this option, the grid's direction will be parallel to the default plane, but by selecting an edge, the grid will rotate so it is parallel to the selected edge. Origin. This can be the origin of a model, point, or node, and we'll put the intersection of the grid at this location. Now that the vertex has been selected, the grid is now aligned. When using the Define Coordinate System feature, the plane option will always need to be populated with data. The X vector and origin can be added individually or together to further refine the location of the plane, but are not required. In this tutorial, you have learned what a current coordinate system is, why it is helpful, and how to position a current coordinate system using the plane, X vector, and origin fields in the Define Coordinate System dialog box.